All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today is a huge day as we have a huge update coming up for season one. And right here we have the patch notes of what to expect as soon as season one drops. So that's going to be later tonight at 11 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 2 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, you know, depending on where you live. So uh, here we have the full patch notes. We're not going to go over every single detail, but I will be scrolling through it. Just feel free, you know, to pause if you need to. Uh, so here we go. We're going to go ahead and check it out here. This patch update brings all the season one alongside bringing a variety of new weapon tuning updates, bug fixes, and more. The update is between 3.4 gigabytes and 7 gigabytes, depending on platform and is version 1.08. So this is good stuff to know ahead of time. You know, so if you need to clear out some space, go ahead and do so now. Uh, there will be a separate download for Call of Duty Warzone on December 15th at 11 p.m. to bring the new Warzone content and officially kick off season one one across all games the patch notes for the warzone update is here all right so for the battle pass this is how the battle pass is going to work up to 100 tiers of unlockable items available in the battle pass system at the start of season one including two free weapons the mac 10 at tier 15 and the groza at tier 31 so this is pretty typical as far as uh you know uh, warzone and modern warfare went they usually had new weapons at these exact same tiers uh, plus new operator skins, weapon blueprints, war tracks, 1300 COD points, 2 XP tokens, and more. All right, and Black Ops Cold War Battle Pass system, Black Ops Cold War Battle System progress can be earned in Black Ops Cold War Warzone and Modern Warfare at the start of Season 1. Unlock vehicle skins will be unique to each game. All right. So uh, I'm not sure if they mean, you know, you can use Black Ops Cold War skins in Warzone or do they mean you can only use Black Ops Cold War skin in Cold War and vice versa. So for progression, cross game progression, player progression will be synchronized across Black Ops Cold War, Warzone and Modern Warfare at the start of season one based on your current season level in Black Ops Cold War. So for me, I'm level 100. So I guess if this is correct, I should be also level 100 in Modern Warfare and Warzone, you know, I'm, I'm still really confused on how that's actually supposed to work. All previous unlocks from Black Ops Cold War and Modern Warfare weapons, perks, score streaks, or kill streaks will remain unlocked, and that's a good thing. 1,000 new season levels available at the start of Season 1 after completing military ranks. Okay, wow, that's a lot of levels. <laughs> All right, Season 1 progression, level 50, new prestige emblems, prestige key, weapon blueprint, battle pass, tier skip, multiplayer. So the Pines 6v6, if you guys didn't see that trailer, uh, they showed a preview of the Pines. So it's basically like a mall map. Uh, it's coming to core and hardcore map rotation at the start of Season 1. Raid 6v6. So this is what everybody is looking forward to out of this entire update. Raid is definitely one of those popular maps and I'm glad that they're bringing it back. Uh, Nuketown 84 Holiday. So basically, it's going to be Nuketown, but snowing. And we've seen this before in Black Ops 4, I believe. Uh, so it's nothing really new. Gunfight maps are coming as well. Uh, Nuketown 84 6v6. Uh, adjusted spawns. To, okay. Adjusted the spawns. In longer lines of sight to reduce spawn trapping. Added spawns. Okay. So this is going to be very interesting. I want to see how this will actually play in game. Because, you know, Nuketown is one of those maps that are incredibly hard to get out of spawn traps. Uh, game modes gunfight available at the start of season one prop hunt oh this is going to be a fun one prop hunt is going to be a very fun game to play if you guys haven't played prop hunt before you basically you know get to pick any item on the map and you get to be that item and then people just need to you know find you so that's a very fun game i'm glad that they added in there uh hard point additional spawns added da, da, da. domination okay like i said just pause if you need to these are all just like you know whatever type of updates um let's see these are just fixes here uh feature playlist raid the mall okay so raid and pines is going to be its own playlist uh gunfights has its own playlist prop hunt of course we expected that nuketown holiday 24 7 so nuketown 84 is going to be a very very good opportunity to level up your weapons you can literally get all of your weapon challenges done in Nuketown. So definitely go ahead and play that playlist. Uh, MAC-10 SMG available for free at Tier 15 in Battle Pass. Okay, they said for free. Okay. All right, Graza Assault Rifle will be able... Will Graza Assault Rifle will be available for free at Tier 31 in the Battle Pass system at the start of Season 1. All right, good stuff to know. AK-47. So this is the big stuff here. So the AK-47 reduced headshot multiplier. 
and they reduced the damage for the 20 inch Spetsnaz RPK barrel. Krieg 6, they reduced the headshot multiplier as well. FAMAS increased the damage ranges and reduced the recoil. So this is actually a really good thing. And this is the only weapon I need to get gold in order to unlock diamond for all my assault rifles. So I'm very happy about this. I'm definitely going to be playing some Nuketown. So machine guns, Milano. They buffed the effective damage ranges. Okay, so this is good as well. It makes the Milano a lot more uh, viable. I'm definitely going to have to make an update video on that as far as the top five SMGs go. KSP 45 increased damage ranges. Good and uh, good. They also did increase the damage range on the Bullfrog. Uh, tactical rifles M16 reduced maximum effective range, reduced the fire rate. I really hope that this isn't too significant to the point where, you know, people are just going to stop using it. Tactical Rifle Charlie reduced headshot multiplier, reduced maximum effective range, reduced the fire rate. Someone leave in the, in the comments down below. Please tell me what do they mean by Tactical Rifle Charlie? Are they talking about the AUG here? Let's see. Attachments. Adjusted barrel attachments that improve fire rates for tactical rifles. Okay, so right off the bat, I can already tell, like, if they're going to nerf the fire rate, you might as well start putting on the barrel attachments that improve the fire rates if they're going to buff it. So it's like as if the nerf never even happened. Light machine guns, M60, increased ADS speed, increased weapon swap speeds. Okay, sniper, increased damage multiplier for upper chest to allow for a one hit kill without attachments. 22.6 inch Tiger Team barrel will now increase one hit kill zone to upper arms. Recoil adjusted for higher shot power. Okay. So I guess this is a good thing for all you sniper users out there. I'm not really a sniper guy. I mean, I can, but not really my choice. So I'm sure this makes you happy. Pistols, Magnum, increase effective damage ranges, increase the fire rate, shotguns, Hauer, decrease. The okay, I'm glad that they uh, that they nerfed the Hauer. Hopefully it is significant enough to the point where people, you know, start using other things. Uh, they also nerfed the Bravo shotgun, whatever that one is. Um, attachments, barrel attachments that improve fire rates for shotguns. So, all right. Uh, reduce the amount of player knockback when being when being damaged by bullets. You know what? This is something that I did notice before, and I'm glad that this is addressed because it was actually kind of annoying. You know, when you do get like knocked back after you get hit by a bullet, you know. Uh, perks: black jacket, reduce explosive damage mitigation, reduced explosive damage mitigation. So I guess uh, I guess this is a nerf. I'm not sure, man. Somebody clarify if it, clarify this for me in the comments. Uh, forward Intel, increased viewable minimap area. Wow. I'm actually really surprised that they, they buffed this because, I mean, Forward Intel was already good as is. Ninja, remove protection from the field mic detection. Okay, I, I don't like this at all. I really don't like this at all because Ninja, apparently, it's you're not supposed to be detected by the field mic. You know, I think that was part of the description under Ninja before this update. And now they're completely removing that. You know, I'm not sure if I agree with that. You know, that's just me. Uh, Spycraft added full immunity to field mic detection. Okay, so they're moving. Okay, so they're trying to balance out the perks, I guess, to make you use Spycraft more in order to, you know, stay immune to the field mic detection. Um, you know, that's going to be interesting how that's going to play out. Uh, frag grenade slightly increased damage. Molotov increased the damage. Stim shot reduced the heal speed. Okay. Mm, reduce the heal speed. So I guess you should be able to heal faster after you use your stim shot. You know, so I, I don't understand like why some of these wordings are just kind of, you know, maybe I'm just slow or something like that, but they're a little like hard to understand at first. Uh, field mic, no longer detect users who are crouch walking, ADS walking or swimming. Okay, so I guess this is a good thing. So even if we still have ninja, uh, all we got to do is just crouch walk and we'll be fine or ADS. Gas mine, increase damage, remove detonation, delay, reduce how much a player will be showed, uh, slowed when affected by the, by the gas. Uh, score streaks, harp. High altitude reconnaissance plane shows both enemy positions and their directions on the minimap. All right. Uh, that's going to be cool to use. Apparently, it takes four rockets to take it down. And uh, if you wear ghost, you could still be you could still be hidden from the harp. So that's just something to let you guys know about. Cruise missile. Address an issue where the cruise missile HUD effects would display after a cruise missile kill cam. Okay, this is all boring stuff. All right, so just feel free to pause the video wherever needed. Zombie is not really going to go over that. Uh, I just really mainly wanted to cover all of the, you know, the main updates 
that uh, my subscriber base watches, which is multiplayer. Uh, but yeah, just feel free to pause this if you need to. Uh, PS4, PS5, okay. PC stability fixes, etc., etc. So uh, that's about it for the patch notes. So get ready, guys, tonight at 11 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you guys did find this video helpful in any way, shape, or form, I would really appreciate a like before you leave this video and subscribe if you're brand new around here. Check out all my other videos. Join Turbo Nation today, and I will see you guys in the next one. Let's go, baby. Season one, let's get it.